it is a huge honor today to be interviewing a, a, a real role model of mine, Eric Jackson. I, I, I feel like we're, uh, we have so much in common. We're both DDS. We're both masters in the Academy of General Dentistry. Uh, we both have our fellowship in International Congress Oral Plantology and, and on and on and on and on. And um, I um, I have really gone to school following you on social media too. I mean, you just, you, you were the first person I know who just, you just did it all right. It was, uh, your <clears throat> social media posts are educating and informative. I, I always want to read them. And I, I can just imagine how your, your patient's wondering, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the kind words. That's fantastic. I mean, coming from someone like yourself with uh, admittedly some of the top top posts around uh, means a lot to me. Thank you. Oh, hey. And uh, so I, I want to start off. Uh, I mean, there, there's so many things I could talk to you about. I mean, you're, you're uh, a master clinician. You're an implantologist. You're um, a successful businessman. You're, you're the, the top 0.01% social media media marketing that I've ever seen, and I, I've been on social media pretty big time since, since uh, 1998. So the youth, um, there, there's a lot of people talking about the oral systemic link, that the mouth is connected to the rest of the body. And uh, um, do you do you think that importance is growing in, in our um, lifetime right now? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the between the classic topics of diabetes and, and, and cardiac issues, but now it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's the link between dentistry and medicine is is I said the gap between dentistry and medicine is blurring more than ever before. I mean, in my office, I'm proud we we we've branched out and and we do things from genetic testing and the salivary genetic testing when applicable. You know, uh, what else? Um, brush biopsies. I mean, simple little things that really really benefit patients. Why not offer a multidisciplinary approach? That encompasses not just the multidisciplines, the multidisciplines of dentistry, but also that of some of medicine. You know, a biopsy brush is not that technical, especially when you have a fantastic team behind the actual histopathological report. You're in business, and you're able to really help a lot of people. And I mean, it happened last week. She, woman didn't know what this bump was. Right there, you can help and start getting some information uh, a couple hours, a couple of days later, rather. Do you want to go into more details about that? Because I'm sure 99% of the listeners have never done any salivary genetic testing or... Oh, sure. It's fantastic. I mean, it's it's literally... My big thing, three things in dentistry, I always preach. I mean, it's dentistry is such a philosophical type uh, field now. If I can do something that's high impact or high results, low cost and low invasiveness, if you can get those three things, then you've hit your trifecta, right? Uh, salivary... Salivary testing, literally, you swish with <laughs> you swish with a solution, you spit in a cup, and you send it to a laboratory, and they're able to, to decipher a, a million different things from, uh, well, is there HPV present? What types of strains of HPV are, is it present? Um, that's wonderful for throat cancer. Um, you can also do it for per, uh, periodontal type issues. That's stubborn scaling replanting case that doesn't respond. Well, there's a couple reasons why it could, and one of them could be some really nasty bacteria of certain strains that are kind of resistant, more or less, to traditional SRP methods. So you have to use a combination method of perhaps uh, some antibiotics or a laser or, you know, a combination of both. Really kind of giving you an extra step, because if you know what the name of the bug is, well, then you can go after them a little bit more uh, focused. And it's interesting to me where, um, you know, when I got out of school in 87, um, AIDS was just coming out big time. And now here it is 28 years later, and the world is just barely waking up to the fact that babies are not born with these bugs, and we yeah. transmit them from their uh, caregivers, mainly mainly their mother. And Absolutely. some of these people that have untreatable periodontal disease are going home and kissing and training saliva every night with some husband who hasn't been seen before. By yeah. dentist for 20 years, and it's just not even dawning on the dentist or the patient to say, you know, we, we need to get your husband in here. I mean, it's kind of silly because if, if you were treating her every three months for chlamydia, you'd eventually yeah. say, you know, who, who are you sleeping with? And she, if she said, my, just my husband, it's like, well, we think he's got the bug too. Uh, yeah, you got to talk to him. So was that, um, that um, salivary tap, what, what company are you using? I use Aura Risk. Aura, Aura Risk, is, yeah, or O R A, Risk. Yeah, it's a fantastic company. They do quite a few different things via the saliva. Uh, like I mentioned, HPV, um, periodontal type testing, real, real nice. And, and uh, the interesting thing about those bugs is um, real 
Christians saying that um, every three months they discover a new species of bug in the mouth. Absolutely. Every three months. And, well, and the nice part is you've got trained professionals who can help you identify that. And then they figure out what targets it. And you don't have to do it for every case. But, you know, instead of just seeing someone limp along in somewhat healthy perio for years and, and eventually equals a slow decline, you can really nail down that those toughest percents of cases. Well, Eric, you said you let your sometimes at your study clubs and stuff. Yeah, I have. I have. Uh, I, not, no. I, I, if you got an hour of lecture, I, I'd give anything to have you uh, put it up on Dental Town. Uh, you can. I'd just, love to. Yeah, I, I, I would absolutely love that because I, I just think you're a hell of a guy. You're a hell of a clinician. You're a hell of a social media. I just think you're a hell of a guy. And I just want to tell you, um, we're two minutes over time, but uh, thank you so much for spending no, an hour you. with me today. Uh, I, I just think, and uh, thank you for all you do for dentistry and your uh, the CDS Foundation, the DuPage County Health. I mean, everything. You're just a hell of a guy. Thank you so much for spending an hour with me today. It means a lot coming from a guy like you. You know, there's somebody that I've sat in your lectures and your and your MBA for dentistry courses and things, and it's just fantastic uh, being able to sit here. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted to have when I was young. You know, first year out, second year out, being able to rub elbows with somebody the likes of Howard Ferran or the, the likes of uh, anybody else in that league. I mean, really, we're talking A-list people here. And here I am sitting Skyping with you, and it's fantastic. Ah, thanks, buddy. Well, uh, well, thanks, and I hope you have a rockin' hot rest of the day. You too. Thank you very much.